Course in Miracles, Instructions for Deep Meditation, rephrased in the first person by ACIM Radio. I sit quietly with my eyes closed. I make no effort to think of anything. Instead, I get a sense of turning inward, past all the idle thoughts and the world. I enter very deeply into my own mind, and I keep it clear of any thoughts that might divert my attention. I sink down and inward, away from the world and all the foolish thoughts of the world. I am reaching past all these things. I am leaving appearances and I reach reality. It is quite possible to reach God. In fact, It is very easy, because it is the most natural thing in the world. I might even say, it is the only natural thing in the world. The way will open as I believe that it is possible. I leave behind everything that I now believe, and all the thoughts that I have made up. I am sinking into my own mind, letting go of all interferences and intrusion by quietly sinking past them. My mind cannot be stopped in this unless I choose to stop it. My mind is merely taking its natural course. I am observing my passing thoughts without involvement and I slip quietly by them. I am attempting something very holy. I experience some sense of relaxation and even a feeling that I am approaching and actually entering into the light. I 
Think of light, formless and without limit, as I pass by the thoughts of this world. And I remember that they cannot hold me to the world unless I give them power to do so. I leave the unreal and seek for the real. I will deny the world in favor of truth. I will not let the thoughts of the world hold me back. I will not let the thoughts of the world tell me that what God would have me do is impossible. Instead, I recognize that only what God would have me do is possible. I go past all the unreal thoughts that cover the truth in my mind and reach to the eternal. It is this foundation towards which I am directed. Here is my mind joined with the mind of God. For this kind of practice only one thing is necessary. I am able to remind myself that this is no idle game, but an exercise in holiness and an attempt to reach the kingdom of heaven. Today, I'm reaching past my own weakness to the source of real strength. I slip past all concerns related to my own inadequacy. I am reaching down into my mind to a place of real safety. Recognize that I have reached it as I feel a sense of deep peace, however briefly. I let go of all the trivial things that bubble at the surface of my own mind. and I reach down and below them to the kingdom of heaven. There is a place in me where there is perfect peace. There is a place in me where nothing is impossible. There is a place in me where the strength of God abides. I am identifying with a part of my mind where peace and strength abide forever. The other part is a wild illusion, 
frantic and distraught, without reality of any kind. Today, I am not listening to it. I sink deep into the peace that waits for me beyond the frantic, riotous sounds and sights of this insane world. I do not live here. I am reaching my real home. I am reaching the place where I am truly welcome. I am reaching God. I put not my faith in illusions. They will fail me. I put all my faith in the love of God within me, eternal, changeless, and forever unfailing. peace to flow over me like a blanket of protection and surety. I let no idle and foolish thoughts enter to disturb the holy mind of the Son of God. Such is the kingdom of heaven. Such is the resting place where my Father has placed me forever. I am reaching past all the images and preconceptions about myself to the truth in me. As love created me like itself, this self must be in me. And somewhere in my mind, it is there for me to find. After I have thought about the importance of what I'm doing, I settle down in perfect stillness remembering only how much I want to reach the light in me today. I am remembering that I am at last joining my will to God's. I am keeping the thoughts clearly in my mind that what I undertake with God must succeed. And so I let the power of God work in me and through me that His will and mine be done. Now, again, I reach the light in me, which is where my salvation is. I cannot find it in the clouds that surround the light, and it is in them I have been looking for it. It is not there.
it is past the clouds and in the light beyond. I remember that I have to go through the clouds to reach the light. And I remember also that I have never found anything in the clouds since all illusions of salvation have failed me. I surely do not want to remain in the clouds, looking vainly for idols there, when I so easily can go into the light of real salvation. I am passing the clouds by whatever means appeal to me. It helps me to think of my brother to hold my hand. I am assured that this is no idle fantasy. My salvation comes from me, and nothing but my own thoughts can hamper my progress. I am free from all external interference. I am in charge of my salvation. There is a point beyond where illusions cannot go. Suffering is not happiness, and it is happiness I really want. Such is my will in truth. And so, salvation is my will as well. I want to succeed in what I'm doing today. I undertake it with my blessing and my glad accord. I will succeed today as I remember that I want salvation for myself. I accept God's plan because I share in it. I have no will that can really oppose it. And I do not want to do so. Salvation is for me. Above all else, I want the freedom to remember who I really am. Today it is the ego that stands powerless before my will. My will is free, and nothing can prevail against it. I experience the peace to which my reality entitles me. I sink into it and feel, feel it closing around me.
I resist the temptation to take these attempts as withdrawal, and the difference is easily detected. As I am succeeding, I do feel a deep sense of joy and an increased alertness rather than a feeling of drowsiness. Joy characterizes peace. By this experience, I recognize that I have reached it. I will be given what I desire. I will to see the light. The light has come. I dwell not upon the past today, and I keep a completely open mind, washed of all past ideas and clean of every concept I have made. I dedicate this day to the serenity where God would have me be. I have been promised full release from the world I made. I am assured that the kingdom of God is within me and can never be lost. I ask no more than what belongs to me in truth. Today, however, I make sure that I will not content myself with less. My efforts have strong support. If I but realize how great my strength, my doubts would vanish. Today I will devote myself to the attempt to feel the strength. As I feel the strength in me, I cannot doubt. I sink down and inward. Spirit am I, a holy son of God, free of all limits, safe and healed and whole, free to forgive and free to save the world.